home learners and welcome to Friday's math session. Today we're going to be learning about pairs of numbers. In my two pots I have hidden away four dinosaurs. So your job would be to tell me how many would be in the green pot and how many might I have in the pink pot. It's a little bit of a guessing game but your two numbers need to add up to four. You could show me on your fingers. I'm going to count the ones on the green pot first. We've got one, and two. So that's two dinosaurs from the green pot. Now, how many will be in the pink pot? Let's see if you're right. So we've got two in the green and we've got one, two in the pink. Okay, so I'm going to write that on this sharing circles. So how many do we have? Did I say we had all together? We had four dinosaurs all together. We shared them out, so we had two in the first pot and two in the second pot. So if we wanted to write a number sentence, we could say that two, to check two and two more equals four. This is how you can check your answer. Or you could count all of your toys together. So we had two in one pot and two in the other. So we've got touch counting, one, two, three, four. Excellent. So we're gonna try, I'm gonna put some different toys into the same pots. We're still going to have four toys. But I wonder how many will be in each pot this time. So I put a different amount of toys in the green cup and some more in the pink one. So how many this time? So we've got a different number of toys in this one and this one. So, oh, well done. Good thinking, good guessing. So in our green pot, we have got one two, three. So if we've got three in the green pot, how many are going to be in the pink pot? Well done. Just one more. Let's check. So I said that we had four, so we had three. Um, one more is four. So we've got one, two, three, four. So you can share them into two different pots. So we always start with four and we shared, we had three in one pot, in the green pot and one in our pink pot. So to check, we can do a simple number sentence. We've got three, add one more equals four. If you have bigger pots or smaller objects, you can do this with bigger numbers. This time I put some crayons in. I'm going, going to tell you I have got nine crayons all together. Can you think of ways that you could share nine into two pots? You could use your fingers if, you, if that's helpful, or you can have some toys, or just like I've got some crayons, some different colored crayons. So I start with the green pot first of all. How many count with me? So we've got one, two, three, four, four in there. So how many more? 
going to be in the pink pop. Well done. Let's check. We've got one, two, three, four, and five. So we're going to count them all together to check that we've got nine. So we can start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this time in our sharing circles, we're going to write nine up here. And we had four and five. So our addition or number sentence would be four add five equals nine. Or to make it easier, you can you should start with the biggest number. So we've got five and count on four more to equal nine. You can use your fingers as well. So we've got five. We know there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, four on this side. Five and four is nine. Who can remember our number of the week? That's right, it's 14. I was a little bit happy for a 14, wasn't it? Because 14 is a grumpy number. It's 14. How can you make 14? Well, we know it is a 10 and four more. How else can you make 14? Do you think you could write a number sentence? That one would be 10 and four equals 14. How else can you do it? Could you use three numbers to make 14? We look at 10, using our pairs to make 10, we could have six, add four. So we know that is 10. And the four more equals 14. So that could really challenge you to find out different ways. Maybe two numbers or even three or four numbers to make 14 of our grumpy 14. So have a good day and we'll see you soon. Bye home learners.